choose a five. Blah, 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 blah. Number four, choose a five or five. Use my words. Words are difficult. Hello, all. Trying to look intelligent and gangster at the same time. What, you think it doesn't work? It doesn't work, actually. Yeah, I don't wear glasses anymore. I used to, but don't. And these totally look like a dork. Um, but they actually have a USB port so I can do some future stuff with the top secret spy cam glasses. Yes, yes, maybe. I don't know, I'll probably never get to it because I'm lame. Today, here's what I got for you. Let's see what the internet has to offer when it comes to nutrition tips. So let's go to the internet top nutrition tips. Bam, 27, that's a lot. I don't think anybody has time for 27 of those. 10 tips for healthy eating. We're gonna see if these are basic or if they suck, if they're advanced, whatever. They might offer something good. If they don't, I will throw an opinion out there. Number one, choose good carbs, not no carbs. Whole grains are your best bet. Actually, that does make complete sense. That one's actually not too bad, not too bad. Number two, pay attention to protein package. Fish, poultry, nuts, and beans are the best choices. I like that one also. Those are your proteins. When you go for a big beefy thing, when you go for a big beefy thing, you're not actually getting enough grams of protein per what you're eating or something like that. There was an article I read a long time ago, like a long time ago before um, before this looked worse than it does now. I mean, I, there's much more patchy, I mean, who cares, who cares? Where the protein for like bugs, uh, grasshoppers and whatnot, is more per gram than beef, and is much easier to grow per resource used to make it grow, such as a can of cow's lifetime will consume lots of water and lots of food per gram of beef is how they calculate it. And then same thing for the locust. It's like exponentially more. Number three, choose foods with healthy fats, limit foods, high in saturated fat and avoid foods with trans fat. Plant oils, nuts are the healthiest sources. Sources. Actually, I agree with that. I don't have anything to add. Why? Because I don't really want to. Choose a five. Blah, 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 blah. Number four, choose a five or five. Use my words. Words are difficult. Anyway, choose a fiber filled diet, rich with whole grains, vegetables, and fruits. Okay. Okay. I'll add to that. Watch out on the fruits. If you eat too many fruits, you increase your sugar intake and stuff and things. But fiber is good. The more you poop, the healthier you are unless it's unhealthy poops. Anyway, moving on, number five. You know what, let's, let's highlight these. I've never done the screen thing. And by the way, we're at uh, whatever the hell, hsphharvard.edu. Eat more vegetables and fruits. Go for color and variety, dark green, yellow, orange, and red. Oh, taste the rainbow. So those Skittles are healthy for you. Number six, moving on. Calcium is important, but milk isn't the only or even best sources. 100% agree. A cow's milk, I'm pretty sure was made for cows to... suckle intake or something. Pretty sure, but I ain't no anthropologist, so I don't know. On number seven, water is best to quench your thirst, skip the sugary drinks, and go easy on the milk and juice. You know, I did mention that I'd explain the juice thing in my very first intro video thing. How do I explain this? I mean, it's in there. How do I get it to there? When you look at the serving size of juice or whatever, the serving sizes are actually fairly, fairly small. Your liver does not have the livering capacity to metabolize. There's that word, use it. It's in there. Not metabolize, use, transform, do things to the amount of juice in which you're gonna drink. Most of the juices you'll see, they'll say used from concentrate, artificial flavors added, blah, blah, blah. 
even if it was all juice, that is too much for your liver to handle. It's like drinking an entire bottle of vodka. Your liver is gonna be like, what the hell, yo? What the hell? And then all oh, liver disease and you die and your family's sad. Maybe unless you suck, then your family's not sad. Okay, that was, everybody's sad. Number eight, eating less salt is good for everyone's health. Choose more fresh foods and fewer processed foods. That second part was as basic of knowledge as it comes. Eating less sodium, salt, I think it's the same thing. Like I said, I'm not an anthropologist, so I don't know. Uh, electrolytes for hydration. If you need to hydrate, freaking hydrate, hydrate. Don't use the Powerade, don't use the thingies. You can actually gain your electrolytes from stuff you eat in your normal diet, unless you are overexerting and in like desert things, then you might need the extra electrolytes. But unless you're sweating that white, grainy, gritty stuff, wear a black shirt, go for a run. If there's white in your armpits, take some electrolytes. You're gonna need them. Number nine, moderate drinking can be healthy, but not for everyone. You must weigh the benefits and risks. Moderate drinking. I, I'm, I'm gonna assume they're talking about alcohol. And with alcohol, moderate. You know, if you have one, I actually, I'm not an expert on that. I'm not, I'm not. I hear red wine, like a gra one, one glass of red wine with like your dinner meal can be beneficial and stuff. Number 10, a daily multivitamin is a great nutrition insurance policy. Some extra vitamin D may add an extra health boost. I don't know about a multivitamin, but this is something I can definitely agree upon. When I've done some massive dieting, where I've had like specific things I wasn't eating or eating, there was a lot of vitamins, vitamins, wherever you're from, where you weren't quite getting everything you need. So sometimes a multivitamin might help replace those things while you are doing your hardcore dieting or you're toning, you're thinning, you're whisking or whatever. Anyway, that's what I got today. The equivalent of your grandma's old encyclopedia collection in the basement, gaining some mildew, dust, mold, and all that stuff. That's your today's thing. And in case you were wondering, yes, this is a Negan shirt. Remember that day. Remember that broken heart day when The Walking Dead still had a meaning in our lives. And then this asshole, this asshole right here, destroyed our lives by taking two characters we adored. Anyway, I, I guess I can say something profound, but you know what, profound for why I have this. Actually, I just have this because of the shirt and I wear it. But let's see, profinity, profoundity, profundity. Sometimes, when you embrace the opposite of what you want, you can gain something from it. Quote, Brendan Vance, 2019. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. That is really awesome of you. I would like you to spend more. So subscribe and use that awesome charm to seduce that like button into the pushed position. Have an awesome day and we'll catch you later. Love ya.